to Novel Idea. My name is Dia and today I just want to go over my plans for September and show you my pile of possibilities. Okay, so one of the things that happens in September on booktube is that there are just a lot of read-a-thons, read-alongs, challenges, all of that kind of thing and uh, a lot of them kind of overlap with prompts. And so I have quite a few that I want to participate in, but I don't think that it's going to require more reading because of the fact that they will overlap with one another. So the first one that I'm going to be taking part in is Series September, and this is hosted by Krista of Books and Jams and Sarah at Sarah's Nightstand. And um, it's just about reading series, starting series, moving along with series, uh, finishing up series, just different things like that. And so that um, will be the first one. And then I'm also going to be taking part in Shorty September. And this is uh, hosted by Soggy Expat book nerd. Uh, there might be more hosts than that, but that's the one that I learned about it from. And this is just uh, an event to help us read some shorter works that are out there. They can be fiction or nonfiction, and they have a whole prompt sheet. I'll see if I can't put it up here for you. And uh, I don't know that I'm going to be following the prompt sheet exactly but I am going to be reading lots of little short works in September. And then the next one is Shake Timber, and this is hosted by Rainy Day Reads and a couple of others, I think. And I'll leave all of these linked down in the description box. But Shake Timber, of course, is just about reading Shakespeare. Uh, they have a couple of read-alongs. I don't think I'm going to be doing the read-alongs. I'm just going to be reading some Shakespeare and adding that into some of the other things that I'm participating in as well. And then there's also Tudor Timber and that is hosted by Hungry Bookworm. Um, Julie might have some others that are helping her with it also, but it's hosted by uh, Hungry Bookworm. And then also, I will be participating in the You've Got Mail-a-thon, and that's hosted by Chantelle Reads All Day. And I will also be doing Fall Into Reading, which is actually a three-month event. And uh, that one also is hosted by Rainy at Rainy Day Reads and a couple of others. So those are all the events. Now let's get into the books that I'm planning on reading this month. So I've already actually completed a couple. So the very first one that I actually completed so far this month was Daughter of the Moon Goddess. And this is by Su Lin Tan. And it is um, about the daughter of the moon goddess. Moon goddess it has been banished and has been kind of captured, so to speak, in the fact that she can't leave uh, her castle. And her daughter sets out to undo the enchantment that keeps her there and to get, find pardon for her, basically. And so that was the first one. Then I also have um, Children of Time. This is by Adrian Tchaikovsky. And I did this as a buddy read with Sandy from Miss Reads A Lot. And I had a great time. Um, I don't think this is going to be an all time favorite for either of us, but uh, more of that in my wrap up. But Children of Time. This is the first book, I think, in just a duology, but um, the next one is Children of Ruin. I don't think I'm going to go on in the series, but this is uh, the first one, and both of us enjoyed things about it and didn't enjoy things about it. 
Um, the next one that I completed is The Tempest. And of course, this was for Shake Timber. And uh, it's um, one of Shakespeare's comedies. And it's one of my favorites. I have read it before. This was a reread for me. But uh, The Tempest is about brothers it's about um conniving it's about of course love because it's shakespeare and uh and there's a witch and there's magic and there's all kinds of other things and of course there is a tempest so um that was the other one that i completed so those are what i've completed so far and the rest of these are all of my possibilities. So I have Twelfth Night. This is also a Shakespeare comedy. I tend to like Shakespeare's comedies better than I like his tragedies. And so I tend to read these ones over and over again. So I have read um, Twelfth Night before. It is also one of my very favorite comedies of his. Um, I We'll be reading Gabrielle Roy's uh, Where Nests the Water Hen. It's a little short one. And 190. I didn't tell you, but let's see. Daughter of the Moon Goddess is the beginning of a duology. Children of Time is the beginning of a duology. And this counts for both Shorty September and for Shake Timber. And this one will be for Shorty September. Okay. And then the next one will be Village School by Miss Reed. And another little short one for Shorty September. I will be reading The Staircase by Anne Rinaldi, also for Shorty September. This is a book of poetry and little stories and um, and spells. <laughs> and this is by Robert McFarland called The Lost Spells. This will also be for Shorty September. The Epic of Gilgamesh. This is a long form poem and this also will be for Shorty September. Cold Comfort Farm by Stella Gibbons, also for Shorty September. Ring of Bright Water by Gavin Maxwell, also for Shorty September. <laughs> this is called Dreamwork. This is by Jonathan Lockhart, and this is a book of different poems by him, and I'm looking forward to it. The Best is Yet to Be is a collection of poems that, that uh, Susan Schultz put together, but they are not her poems. They are poems from other people. Then I also have The Tortoise Shell and The Pekingese. This is also by Gabrielle Roy for Shorty September. I have Telling the Truth by Frederick Buckner. This is a book I have read before, Shorty September, by the way. And the reason why I picked this up to read again is because uh, Frederick Buckner just passed away and he's somebody that I have a lot of his books on my shelves and I really love his writing so I'm looking forward to rereading that. Then I will also be reading Spiritual Places for Shorty September and then I am just putting some books on here that I have been wanting to read also. So um, some of these aren't for any in particular 
event, but they are something that I have been wanting to read. Um, this does, however, work for the Fall Into Reading <laughs> Challenge, and uh, this is The Good Earth by Pearl S. Buck. This is a classic and um, will probably go on the classic space on my board. It also has orange on the cover, and I guess if you see the tree down here, it might have leaves on the cover. I don't know. We'll see. Um, Room for Tudor Timber, I'm going to be reading The Lady and the Unicorn by Tracy Chevalier. And then the story of the seagull and the cat who taught her to fly for Shorty September. Magic for Marigold by Ellen Montgomery. And this is a standalone novel by Ellen Montgomery. And it is about a girl who is born into a family and has a tough time surviving birth and the doctor who saves her um, becomes a major player a major character in this uh, little girl's life and so anyway that is magic for marigold and then i will um, be picking up an Alchemy of Masks and Mirrors by Curtis Craddock because I have been waiting and waiting and waiting to read it. So I can't wait. Um, Ballet Shoes by Noel Stratfield is uh, for You've Got Mail-a-thon. And the last one that I have physically right here is Our Village by Mary Russell Mitford. And this is, you can't see it very well, can you? Okay. And this is a uh, book just about her village and about village life and the characters there. And so that is um, also for Shorty September. It looks a little longer, but it has actually full page illustrations in here where there's no text on the pages sometimes. This is Our Village by Mary Russell Mitford and that is also for Shorty September and for Fall Into Reading and whatever else I can fit it into. <laughs> so those are the ones that I have physically right now but also on hold at the um, library and so as soon as they come in if they come in during the month of September I would also like to read um, Poison Song which is the third book in the Winnowing Flame trilogy by Jen Williams and I would also like to read uh, The Dragon's Path which is a book at the beginning. I wish I could remember the name of the series, but it's by Daniel Abraham. And it is the first book in one of his series that he has written. Um, and then also I have uh, two, are they children's books? I guess you could call them children's books uh, that are in the Hartwood Hotel series. And I can't remember who it's by, so I'll put picture up here. But I have those on hold at the library as well. And then I have Early Candlelight by Maud Hart Lovelace. <laughs> and that one is um, supposed to be coming in, so that should be a definite that I'll be reading that. I have The Curious Adventures of Jimmy McGee and this is by Eleanor Estes. And then I have The Bookshop by Penelope Fitzgerald. And I have Train Dreams. Oh, and The Bookshop and The Curious Adventures of Jimmy McGee are both for Shorty September. And then I have Train Dreams and I cannot remember 
who that's by. Picture, picture, right here. <laughs> um, and then also, I have three books in Elizabeth First Spy Master, um, which are like tutor trader, tutor something, tutor something. And so those are for Tudor Timber. I have um, Wildbound, which is the second book after Forcedborn. And I, again, will put up the picture because I'm not sure who it's by, I can't remember. And then I also am um, thinking about reading The Angel's Game, which is the book that follows Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Zafron, is that right? I think, oh, again, we'll put up the picture. Um, and those both go with more than one event as well. So I will try to keep, uh, maybe when I list the books down below, I'll list the events that they can can go in beside because they all overlap somehow and I think that is everything on my pile of possibilities um, and hopefully I'll get to read all of them I, it's quite a it looks like a lot but because so many of these are so short they're just gonna like like a, the tempest I just read this morning it was it was just an hour of my morning and I read it through and then I went back and I read notes for another half an hour and <laughs> so it's going to be it's going to be quick but anyway let me know if you have read any of these um, if there's something here that you would like to buddy read let me know that uh, I don't think I have any other buddy reads going this month so if there's something here that I'm reading that catches your eye please let me know and I would love to read that with you. And um, what are you guys participating in this month? I've already seen quite a few. I'm late to the, to the um, party here because of just being out of town, not having internet, <laughs> a husband who got COVID and all of those kinds of things. So if um, there's, if there's something that you're participating in uh, also that I'm participating in, I'd love to know that. I'd like to watch your progress as well as um, you guys watching mine. So I hope that September is treating you well and I will see you very soon with another video because I'm still playing catch up. <laughs> Bye everybody. Like if you liked it, subscribe if you want to.